Okay guys, Kevin Dye with Dye Painting. Um, this is our video walkthrough. I like to send these. Obviously you'll be getting this via email uh, with a bid so that we all pretty much see the same thing at the same time. Um, so that's kind of an important thing. It's basically the same as uh, walking it. So if, if we're all walking it. So I'll kind of go through a brief um, not too detailed uh, basis of what we do. Obviously the first thing we do when we get here is all lights and knickknacks and everything is stripped off the building and then all areas of dirt around the concrete which we call the stem wall is say right here. All these areas are trenched. We actually dig down and pull back the dirt so as when we paint that the new color there's no none of the old color there and then when we're done we push the dirt back um, and then we pretty much proceed to pressure wash the place uh, to the best of our ability. We do use bleaches and different uh, products so as to get in and make sure that uh, all the mold is dead. We don't paint over any mold or anything of the like and then we get in and go. Um, a lot of it is just trying to get the old paint off. This Some of this old paint starting to go. Um, so it's time. It's not a big deal. Um, and we kind of go from there. I'm not sure why they painted the outside of the stem wall but not the inside. Um, but it would probably behoove us to not paint this and just paint what already is uh, just because of the fact we don't have to move the firewood which means time, which means money, and the fact that it looks fine. Now, if you do want us to paint it, it's not a big deal, and that's not a huge overly cost or anything like that. But just saying, um, you know, it, there's no need to start painting all the stem wall uh, unless, you know, you guys want to, which we can, and we do. Uh, we use Dun Edwards paints. We use the very best paints. So uh, for us, uh, we use the absolute best material. We found that that helps us greatly. Uh, so on this house, so basically what we do is we use a, a primer and a product called Kelbond Ultra. It is a peel stop and it's an anti-checking. So all these cracks that you see right here, this is checking. So at the end of our paint job, the whole idea is to get it so that the, uh, you know, that checking is gone. It appears as if the building has been dipped. Uh, it is a solid. You can't look down it and see it uh, furry like this, you know what I mean? Like so. Uh, we want it to actually have a very completed solid finish so we take a roller a huge nine inch roller that's about two inches thick and we just roll our primers and we smash it in there um, so that's a huge part of our prep as is caulking all of these corners all of this stuff is caulked every bit of it so every bit of the fascia like every seam and butt joint is caulked every corner on the building is caulked we are known, known up here for our prep. Now granted, that's a little more to do, uh, but it doesn't change the fact that it, it pays for itself because eight to 10 years, your house is still solid and keeping water out. Uh, just coming in and spraying it, um, you know, you might have someone back in four to five years. So again, you know, and the, that whole initial cost. So uh, pretty easy stuff. We do a ton of it, uh, all caulking, like even this guy. Even that line on the one by three, everything is caulked in. Um, so that's a big deal on this. So here, let me see, uh, please keep closed. I think this might be locked, which is not a big deal. So um, again, everything in here, if that door, I'll just plan on painting that door. Uh, obviously our chemicals get rid of all this stuff. Um, pretty easy stuff to really get a hold of truthfully uh not not that big of a deal if, especially if we're not doing the decks the decks definitely need it as does the railing but if you guys have the ability to do that then um that's awesome yeah you don't need us if you want let me know um and i'll remember this video and so forth and i'll give you guys a cost on the decks um but yeah if you don't need to do the decks and that's a very good thing so basically our, our paint job so down here again all this will be trenched out away from the wall this dirt's too high back here you don't we don't want this we don't want dirt touching this wood because um, all that's going to do is just rot it so we come in and we dig it all back now very important I know it probably sounds dumb, um, but it's very important because we don't want a situation where, um, you know, the wood's rotted and this is, this is too close. So we're going to, we'll peel it all back um, and we'll leave it back so that you have like this kind of separation. That's what you want. And we don't want any wood to wick water. Um, pretty basic stuff. All doors are done. We use a Dun Edwards velvet paint, which is, um, 
a really nice paint for it's not shiny but it's uh, not flat it's cleanable um, and it repels water and it's UV protected so that's another huge uh, very important thing for us the UV is very important so let me take a look at this that looks pretty solid there's just a little prep we can clean that up um, so again standard prep um, all the windows, uh, everything would we do it the same way, as in whatever trim is going to be the trim color is that, and the walls are the walls. Um, so all that would be done as well. It is a big house, that's for sure. Um, it's a beautiful spot too. I really like it. Patricia is a great street. Um, that would everything that's painted now would be repainted. That's basically how, how the best way to look at it, and that's the best way to put it on a bid everything would be repainted um, obviously none of this would work unless you guys decide to have us do it and we do it all the time but uh we spray this stuff out pretty much all the time um i just noticed how close the house this house is to yours across across there so um let's take a quick look make sure there's nothing up here we forgot um uh, all doors semi-gloss all walls and fascia and trim would be done with um, the velvet, the cleanable <coughs> satin exterior. We use Dun Edwards Evershield. And if you get a chance to take a look, it's called Dun Edwards Evershield. Um, it, uh, great stuff. Some of the best uh, stuff you can get your hands on. So we've got it underneath, and uh, we've got a high level there. Let me see if I can get a look. I'm not going to walk on your railing. Uh, so up here, standard stuff, I'm sure a door up there. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary up there. You got a board loose there. Um, pretty much standard stuff, what we normally do. Um, colors do not matter to us. Uh, it could be whatever it is, it's two coats. It's a solid finish. So, um... So that's not a big deal. I'm gonna get this side. I'll walk back the way I went to make sure I shut that gate. Um, high side back here, not even that bad. Uh, not that big of a deal. Um, all gutters are cleaned when we pressure wash. We go through and we kind of pressure wash out the gutters. Um, all windows are masked. We use a 3M film. We try to use the very best of everything. Uh, and if we use it enough, like we do, we get, we're pretty blessed because then we get it for cheaper than it would cost uh, anyone else just, you know, buying it in bulk. So that's always a good thing. Where's that one step? This side here would probably be a little fun. Just try to get up around that awning, but nothing we don't do on a regular basis. In fact, it's cloudy and nasty, but this week we're actually going to be on an exterior uh, the last of the season another reason why we like to do these bids and get them to you guys because many times we end up with weather that was unexpected and i call and say hey we've got 75 degree weather for the next 10 days can we do your house so that's why we uh, like to get colors paint colors material deposits contracts everything signed in hand so that we can just go and uh, we don't like to be hindered uh, by weather, but unfortunately where we live is where we live. So um, pretty cut and dry. Uh, we could go around that window too, so don't worry about those. Um, pretty cut and dry. This job would be five to seven days uh, to do. I always add a day or two just for unseen. Everything on top, obviously, as in the chimney in this high pitch over here any color samples that you would like us to get please let us know we can do that right away and they can be free our truck will come up and deliver them and we will put them up here by the door um yeah pretty easy stuff a lot of work it's a big one but um yeah stuff that we do so I'll get this all written up and uh, just let me know how I can help in any way. Just tell us if there's anything you need to know or uh, any questions, comments, opinions, whatever it might be, let us know and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. 
and uh, we definitely uh, thank you guys so much for the chance just to look at it and uh, we always appreciate just kind of getting out and bidding work so if you need to reach us that's where we're at thank you guys and have a good day